What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another Dave Cave Dave review. I'm Dave, coming at you from the Dave Cave, and tonight, ooh, I'm having a look at something special. I'm taking a look at the DC Multiverse Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom Storm. It's a big, beautiful bastard seahorse. Look at this majestic beast just waiting to be cracked out of this box. I got this from a big uh, buy one, get one free sale over here in Australia. I waxed a whole bunch of money on a whole bunch of figures and um, I was so stoked that I could get this guy for cheaper because I did really want it. You know, I'm not really interested in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. I mean, I'm definitely going to see it. I'm definitely going to, you know, support DC and give them my, you know, 20 bucks or whatever it is for a movie ticket these days uh, because, you know, DC is where it's at for me, guys. I'm a DC guy. So, I, you know, I've got to just support the movies regardless of how crappy they look. Um, but, um, yeah, look, I wasn't a big fan of the first Aquaman. Like, it was okay. It's pretty cheesy. But, um, look, uh, how, how could I say no to this? Literally, from the moment I saw this figure, I, I, I knew that I needed it. Is he a figure or a vehicle? I mean, he's kind of a figure. But anyway, I just knew, guys. So let's have a look at the box. We've got the uh, the front here, which doesn't really give us much. Um, I mean, it's quite a heavy box. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll see more of him in a second. Uh, let's have a look at the side there. We've got the movie logo, Storm, Aquaman, and the Lost Kingdom there. Got our McFarlane Toys logo down there. We've got some art from the movie. Uh, this looks pretty clean. I can't tell who the artist is. Must be some promotional stuff. Actually, a buddy of mine is doing some promotional stuff for the movie, uh, promoting it here in Australia. Alex Tripp Design Studios. So shout out to him. He's probably not watching, but anyway, um, yeah, he's. Um, um, is that him? That's probably not him. Anyway, let's move on. Here's the other side. We've got a window there, but we can't see too much except for the head of our beautiful big seahorse boy. Alrighty, and there's the front again. Let's have a look at the top. Obviously, he's coming in two parts there, unless he's got a big old seahorse butthole there, but I don't think that's the case. And let's have a look at the bottom there. Not too much there. Alrighty, guys. Cannot wait. Oh, look, this box is busted open, but I'm an opener. I give zero S's or F's about busted boxes because I love cracking it open, chucking the box in the trash and displaying my plastic. All right, I'm gonna be back in a second. I'm gonna unbox this guy for you. So kick back, get comfy, sprinkle some of that fish food on top of the water there in that fish tank in your house, have a little nibble and, you know, kick back again because it's going down. Holy dooly guys, I'm back and I caught me a big beautiful seahorse boy. Look at this, all splayed out, all in pieces. I've chopped him up for my eating pleasure. Oh, come on, guys, I'm just fooling around. I would not eat a majestic bastard such as this. I would not eat such a glorious beast such as this. I would uh, take him to my nearest unicorn for healing uh, at my earliest convenience. Uh, but enough uh, BS from me. Let's have a look at these accessories. Trading card right there, beautiful seahorse head. Right there, look at that guy, Storm. I cannot wait to meet you in the movie, my man. Go ahead and pause it right now if you want to read the card there. Let's have a look at the base. Big, thick base for a big, thick boy. He is heavy, guys. So this is like an extra heavy-duty base. Um, and I can see there is a metal rod. Uh, they did not spare Storm the rod, guys. Metal rod for keeping this guy up. So I assume that's going to go boop, straight in there. Alrighty, so big, uh, ooh, look at that. That's gonna be, it's gonna be inside my pal here soon. Boy, oh boy, let's put that off to the side and let's get this guy uh, together, I assume. Yep, it's gonna go like that. And this is just gonna port straight in there. Yep, it is. Alrighty, let's do it. Let's get him in there. And there it is. All right, we have a, um, oh, it's great. It's so cool, guys. This is so stupid. <laughs> it's so freaking stupid, man. But I'd love it. Um, it <laughs> it's quite possibly the gayest thing I've ever purchased. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I Honestly, I don't. It's just such a flamboyant toy. It's so... Like, it's just so over the top and cool and just awesome. Um, yeah. Oh, God. It's, yeah, this is great. 
<laughs> I have a big Seamoss in my collection now. God damn, I'm so freaking glad I bought this. All right, let's go through the articulation. <laughs> I'm genuinely losing it right now. All right, we've got a double ball joint in the head there, which gives us, you know, an okay amount of movement there. We're not going to get any 360 out of here unless we try to damage these ear fins here. But, um, yeah, we can get him looking left and right pretty nicely. And he can look down and he can look up a little bit. But, you know, I'm just going to have him looking down like that for probably his entire life. Uh, we have a nice little thin bit of... Uh, you know, strap here for his um, reins. Then we have a nice little, uh, um, nice little saddle here, looking like it's cast in uh, gold plastic. There, some okay details. It's looking pretty regal, but you know, nothing but the best for King Arthur, the uh, king of the seven seas. Arthur is the name of my youngest son, so I think that that is awesome. I didn't really put that, put two and two together before. Uh, he's going to like that when he gets older and he starts to learn about superhero uh, alter egos. Uh, he's going to love hearing that uh, the king of the sea is called Arthur as well. That's going to be great. Um, so these fins here are articulated. It looks like they rotate. Oh, I think they're on a ball joint in there because there is a little bit of... Um, there is a little bit of kind of in and out. There is a bit of flexing here, but there's also rotation. I don't know if it's a hinge. It's probably, probably a ball joint. Yeah, it looks like it's a ball joint in there. Uh, yeah, and then uh, we've got kind of rotation in the tail, but that's about it. Um, that's about it, guys. Yeah. What a big, what a big glorious boy this guy is. Let's get, uh, let's get this in here. And then we can display him on his stand. Boy, that's going to take some elbow grease. Give me a second here, folks. Let me... Uh... Oh, holy crap. All right. Um, I'm going to pause it right there and I'm going to be right back, you guys. See you in a bit. And uh, we're back, guys. And look at this guy. Look at this guy just kind of floating there, all, all regal-like. Um, I am, I am chuffed with this guy. I still, uh, I'm kind of beside myself here. I, like part of me kind of can't believe I bought a big seahorse for my collection. And, um, yeah, the other part of me is just like, uh, cool. We have a big seahorse in our collection. What to do with him? I know what to do with him. Well, let's put Aquaman on him. Alrighty. I'm going to go get my, uh, going to get my lost kingdom Aquaman figure and I'm going to, I'm gonna get him on this here uh, seahorse. Now, um, I do not know if this Aquaman came with another hand, but um, all I've got is a grippy hand and a splayed hand. But um, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll just kind of rest him on the saddle there. Uh, will this work if I kind of bring this forward? Yeah, this will work, alrighty. Uh, just gonna kind of get his hand down there on this side. Uh, does he fit nicely in the saddle? He does. And um, whoop, hand just kind of popped right out there. Um, and wow, head popped right out there as well. Jeez, Jason, can you uh, pull yourself together, please, mate? I'm trying to do a bloody toy review here, jeez. Alrighty, uh, let's let's twist him around this way. Let's get him on our seahorse. And damn, dude, stay on. Um, let's let's do some of this. Let's just do straight arm out. And uh, he's just hanging, just hanging there. Alrighty, hugging his bestie. Hugging his bestie, guys. There he is, Jason. And Storm, Arthur, and Storm. Um, fantastic stuff. That looks so good. Um, that looks wicked. Just wicked. Oh, dude. Um, I'm absolutely chuffed with this guy. Uh, I'm going to do some quick comparisons, but um, rather than do my little uh, 
kind of transition thing. I'm just going to put a couple of vehicles out next to him and um, I'm just going to kind of rotate the camera around and see what they look like because uh, it's he's kind of too big and too tall. I kind of don't have the setup to do my little fun transition thing. But anyway, I just wanted to keep this review quick anyway. So I'm going to put a couple of vehicles out and I'll be right back, you guys. See you in a second. Okay, here we are, guys. Got a nice little selection of vehicles there to display with our Storm. So in the middle here, we've still got Aquaman riding Storm. And to his left there, we've got Lobo on the Space Hog, the gold label set that kicked off this channel. Um, so yeah, that is a huge vehicle and um, looking kind of uh, almost evenly matched there next to uh, Storm and Aquaman. Let's get the side on shot to see just how long the Space Hog is and to see kind of the mass, um, the space that Storm takes up as well. So they are comparable, you know, especially since the front of that Space Hog is so skinny. So I think they are comparable, especially in weight. I would say that the Storm set is definitely heavier than the Space Hog set. Anyway, let's continue over here. We've got a Black Series Scout Trooper riding an Endor speeder bike there. Six inch scale versus seven inch scale. And um, I've got to say, Storm really dwarfs that speeder bike. It looks um, it looks so small by comparison. It really does. But um, yeah, that is a lovely speeder bike. I love that design. Okay, over here to the the Flash Batman eighty nine Batmobile. This is the first release, and um, yeah, looks like uh, an appropriately sized vehicle next to Storm. Gives you a bit of the scale of just how large Storm is. And then finally, we've got. Skeletor riding an Origins Land Shark over here, just for a nice little splash of color there. So yeah, a nice little colorful batch of uh, batch of merry merry makers. Is that a word? Merry makers. Nice little crew here hanging out with their uh, flamboyant friend Storm and his uh, regal rider there, Mr. Arthur Curry. Alrighty, guys. One last look at these guys, then we'll be back with my final thoughts. Peace. Okay, we are back with my final verdict on this guy. Now, if you've been watching from beginning to end, I'm sure that it's no surprise that I think that this guy is the tits. He is absolutely incredible. I love having a big bloody seahorse in my collection. Um... Yeah, I'm honestly, I'm over the moon with this guy. So stoked with him. He could have just been a static figure. He could essentially have been a statue and I would still be this over the moon with him. Um, it's great. I'm just going to have so much fun posing different figures on top of him. As you can see, I've already changed out Jason Momoa and I've put on my Endless Winter Aquaman and it looks just as awesome. He actually fits on better than Jason Momoa does, actually. He just kind of like slots right on there. And it feels like uh, like he actually sits in that saddle. It's a bit of a tighter fit there. So yeah, he's a little more snug, uh, almost like he was made a little better for the uh, saddle than Jason Momoa was. But yeah, just to show you that he uh, pairs well with uh, comic figures as well as movie figures. So yeah, absolutely over the moon with this guy, guys. So yeah, look, is he worth 65 Australian dollars, which is the going rate for him over here? Um, honestly, um, yeah, hell yeah, I'd pay 65 for him, definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky that I got him in a buy one, get one free sale, but I mean, I was, I was going to buy him anyway, guys. Honestly, I was going to, and I just got lucky, got him for cheaper, and um, look, still stoked. It's, uh, it's just kind of cream on top, right? So yeah, absolutely chuffed with this guy, um, and yeah, just, just love the ridiculousness of a giant seahorse in my collection. Anyways, guys, that's me for this review. I'm going to bust out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit me with a sub, hit me with a like, and hit the notification bell if you like my style and you want to see more of me. I'm Dave, coming at you from the Dave Cave. Catch you guys on the next one, guys. Cheers. Peace.